Hi everybody, this is Jim Egan, head of school, Synapse School with a Friday update. It is Friday Portfolio Day at Synapse. This is our third major exposition of work that the kids with the teachers co-creating with them, um, the kids put on display and, and show their parents, show the community. Uh, joyous affair, we had our lower school concert today as well. Um, it was just, just tremendous. And um, we just had our traditional circle up with our staff and teachers and said uh, nice things and shout outs to one another about what we saw uh, and what we loved about, about the day. And um, I got a response, a text from a, from a parent who, who will remain nameless. Um, and uh, I wanted to read a little bit of it here uh, because it may, parents it may, and, and family members and teachers, it may resonate with you. Um, this parent was effusive with praise uh, towards the teachers and the staff. You know, once again, they coaxed the best out of the kids. They got the students to dive deeper and push themselves with really challenging topics, atomic science, golden ages of civilizations, colonization, immigration, uh, dinner plates with role models, exper experiential language and culture. It, it is hard to come up with applications of topics and make them relevant to kids. It is hard to be creative and find ways to teach complex ideas with art and expression. It is hard to get students to connect science and math and data with human experiences. And yet, that's exactly, all caps, what happened today, three exclamation points. The teachers expanded, expended every ounce of energy they had to make the day successful, and it absolutely shows. More so than ever before, I am filled with profound gratitude for the care and commitment that all the teachers and staff brought to make the day and the year leading up to it such a massive learning experience for our kids. I completely agree, but my profound gratitude also extends to the parents. At the Circle Up, one of our teachers, John in 7-8, he, um, he really brought that, uh, that out as well. He gave a shout out to the parents. Without the parents and the caregivers and the family members taking the time out of their schedule, out of their work day to come see kids and see us in action three times a year, that's a big deal. We really are thankful for your partnership uh, on a day like today. It was just, just amazing. And it was a super busy week. Uh, L1 had Nature Day yesterday. Going back to Monday, we had visitors from the Yudan Prize that came to our campus. Um, we, I had to go speak with Radhika um, uh, at the Emerson Collective in downtown Palo Alto to a group of researchers. And then they came uh, yesterday to our uh, community and to our school to look at our innovations, to be in conversation with our teachers and our kids uh, around the adolescent brain, and our learning model, they too were blown away by the teachers' energy, enthusiasm, happiness, uh, the, their ability to articulate complex ideas and have kids express them, right? It, it was really mind-blowing for some of these, these researchers who came around from around the country, from MIT and Carnegie Mellon and USC and uh, New York and DC, they, um, they were just, transfixed by what they saw uh, at our school. So that's that's something we just have to remember. We're doing things a little differently and, um, and it's really starting to uh, root in our school. Um, we know what we're doing. We're always iterating, of course, but um, Portfolio Day and those visitors uh, really put into uh, stark relief how far we've come as a school, how far our kids and our teachers uh, have come as well. So that's that's sort of the big um, reflection on the week and on today in particular. Um, but I did want to bring something out here um, that is tied to all of this. It was an article I saw in the Wall Street Journal. I recommend all of you uh, reading it if you can by Ben Cohen. The Brilliant Math Coach, this is the title of it, The Brilliant Math Coach Teaching America's Kids to Outsmart AI. This professor is traveling the country with simple advice for an uncertain future, be more human. And um, it goes into this professor, Po Shen Lo, I think I pronounced it right. He's a professor at Carnegie Mellon University and Team USA's coach for international mathematics. 
or the Mathematical Olympiad. And he's traveling the country talking to high schools and middle schools about, um, you know, those kids who are doing math and in the context of uh, emerging AI culture, uh, it basically his talk is called How to Survive the Chat GBT Invasion. And he says, I'll summarize it here, uh, I'll quote it, but he says the key to survival is knowing how to solve problems and knowing which problems to solve. He urges math uh, folks to focus on creativity, emotion, and the stuff that distinguishes man from machine and won't go obsolete. As artificial intelligence gets smarter, the premium on ingenuity would become greater. This is what he wants to drill into their impressionable young minds. Being human will only be more important as AI becomes more powerful. I agree, Synapse is all about that. One of the researchers and professors and thinkers who came yesterday, Helen Imordino, Mary Helen Imordino Yang, um, she's at USC. She talked to us uh, yesterday, but also the day before at Emerson about the competing interests of school around the need to provide um, skills, right? Discrete skills. Uh, typically it's numeracy and literacy that come first to mind in terms of skills, um, right? You're teaching kids how to add, subtract, read. Those things are very important, but there are the, this other thing that schools do around uh, human development, right? The proclivities, the um, propensity to do things. We want kids to, to have habits of mind uh, like persisting and thinking flexible and applying past knowledge to new problems. That's what our SLOs are all about. So that learning model, which is so unique, right? SEL, uh, innovation, hearts, leading edge academics, all focusing on making sure our kids understand they are change makers and that that's the expectation, that's the mission, uh, is really around those habits of mind and getting kids to pursue things of interest that are important to do, and then marrying that with those skills in order to allow them to do those things and to also succeed in the larger ecosystem outside of learning and schooling outside of Synapse. I think we just do an awesome job at it. And um, today it was really on display. Uh, I am wishing all of you a great uh, long weekend, a holiday weekend eighth grade students and teachers going on the Alaska trip. Unbelievable, have a super time. It is going to be epic. Uh, so let's make it epic in a positive way. And everybody, we'll see you very soon. Okay, great day.